In this video, I'm gonna be going over my Cricut Wireless review and answering the question, is it still worth it in the year 2022? A lot has changed. So guys, let's talk about it. Well, hey there, guys. Welcome back to yet another episode on EB3 Online. And if we're meeting for the first time, I am your host, Eddie. And today, we're talking about Cricut Wireless. Now, I've talked a lot about Cricut Wireless before on the channel. And honestly, it was one of the very first videos that I put out was the unbiased review of Cricut Wireless. Um, actually, quite a few years ago. All right, guys, coming to you today to give you my unbiased review of Cricut Wireless. So, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to follow up on that, uh, compare it to last year, and ultimately answer the question, is it still worth it in the year 2022? All right, guys, let's begin. All right, so first, we're going to talk about the coverage here. Now, Cricut Wireless uses the AT&T network. So, first off, if you have excellent service in your area with AT&T, then Cricut Wireless, it's actually a lot more affordable. And honestly, it gives you the exact same coverage. So here we go on the coverage map. And of course, since it is zoomed out, you are going to get the best bang for the buck. Let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit more. And honestly, just a couple of years ago, this coverage map was definitely not as good as it is now. I'm gonna go ahead and show you my area here. Just, uh, I just wanna check it out myself here. So here is my area here in Northern Wisconsin. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna zoom out. And uh, honestly, it's pretty impressive. Honestly, this is definitely a lot better than what it was many years ago. So where I'm at, I still have the 4G LTE. In other areas, there is that 5G coverage. And then there is that other coverage in the blue, which is the Cricket, the 4G. So a little bit slower. It's basically the backup of LTE, but still technically classified as 4G. All right, so now that we know the coverage is on AT&T, let's go ahead, let's talk about the plans here. So we're gonna shop, we're gonna shop the plans and features, and then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go over the plans right now in 2022, and we're gonna go ahead and compare them to last year, 2000. 21 in 2021 of course all right so we just need the one plan here and you can actually save uh, more money if you go with additional plans so if you have friends or family you can go ahead and add them onto your account and everyone can share in on a little bit more savings so let's go ahead let's talk about the current plans here so every single plan here includes the 5G. So I just want to let you guys know that. That wasn't actually the case before. So if we go ahead and we do the one line, the $60 a month for the unlimited, and that includes premium data that will not slow down based on how much data you use. So they say. That also includes 15 gigabytes, mobile hotspot, 150 gigabytes of cloud storage. Of course, you got the unlimited talk and text and picture messaging. HBO Max. I know a lot of carriers are actually doing the promos with like all the streaming services. Cricket has HBO Max. You do get it with the ads. SD quality video streaming. Mexico and Canada usage. Canada cannot exceed 50%. Unlimited text from the U.S. to 37 countries, the HD voice, and the Wi-Fi calling, which honestly, if you are in areas that don't get the best AT&T coverage, you can go ahead and use that Wi-Fi calling, and it works wonderfully. 
actually made a video on that a couple years ago on the channel. And then you do get this Cricket's call defense. So that is basically all the carriers nowadays are trying to go all in to try to uh, stop and prevent the spam calls, the annoying spam calls that always go around. You know, the ones that say, oh, your uh, your extended car warranty needs to be renewed or your your Amazon account. And it's just fraud. It's just not it's not real. It's, it's so important. I talk to you about your computer. Are you next to your computer right now? It It's very annoying. As you guys, if you've experienced this, you know, I've experienced it before, but uh, it's actually been getting less and less, which is good. Because all the carriers now, they're actually going with these tools to help prevent that. So that's the maximum plan, which honestly, for $60, and there's no annual contracts, no overages, and the monthly taxes are included, which I love that. Wish more, company, more companies would just go all in with the taxes and fees. Just tell me the price I'm paying. And let's just keep it simple. You know, I love that. So the second plan is their unlimited, which honestly, it's a $5 a month savings. So I really don't recommend this plan. And uh, I'll actually explain why. You do get that unlimited high speed data. Cricket may temporarily slow down the data speeds if the network is busy, so if you are in a tourist area or you travel to a hev heavily populated area, say there's a big event going on and everyone travels, uses AT&T towers, you are going to be temporarily deprioritized until the network traffic lets up. And of course, you do get the unlimited talk and text picture messaging, the SD quality in 480p, the Mexico and Canada usage, the unlimited text from 37 countries, the HD voice and Wi-Fi calling, which honestly is standard on all the plans, so no worries there, and then the Cricket call defense, which is standard on all plans as well. So that is very cool. And if you do enroll in their auto pay, you do save $5 a month on each of these plans here. So if you went with the $60, it would be $55. The $55 well, it would be $50. And now let's go ahead and go to the other two plans that they have here. So the $40 a month here gives you 10 gigabytes of that high-speed data and 5G access included, which honestly, here is the thing with that. The 5G access on the tiered data plans, just note is going to have you use up all your data that much faster. Because if you're in an area that has the fast 5G, you're gonna go through your high-speed data a lot um, more often. So that's just something to keep in mind. On some of the newer phones, like I have an iPhone, you can actually go into the settings and actually turn off that 5G if you are on a tiered data plan. Like this one here, and that will help you save that um, high data. Like I said, HD voice, Wi-Fi calling, cricket call defense, all included. And then $30 a month, the two gigabytes here, the 5G access, unlimited talk and text, Wi-Fi calling, HD voice, and cricket call defense. So all these plans, guys, do come with that 5G. And like I said, if you're on... Any one of these plans, the 10 or the, or the 2, more than likely, if I were you, I'd go into your phone and I would see if I can go ahead and uh, turn off that 5G just so that you save more of your data. So let's go ahead. As you guys can see, here's the plans that I have shown right here. These are the ones for 2022. Let's go ahead and compare these to 2021. And I am using the Wayback Machine here. I have a link to this in the description for you guys. So this is actually a snapshot taken January 28th of 2021. So let's go ahead and we're going to compare and see what the difference is between this year and last year. So you do get that $60 a month. 
the 5G access. The 5G access, as you guys can see, was only available on the top tier unlimited plan. The 55, the 40, and the 30 did not include that 5G access, did include that high-speed data, which is their 4G LTE network. So that's really one difference there. Other than that, guys, um, I also see as well that the HBO Max was not included back then as well. So let me go ahead and take a look here. I really think that that's about it. Did they include the 100? So they also did not include this 150 gigabytes of cloud storage. Other than that, guys, the mobile hotspot on the top tier is 15. It was 15 here as well. Prices are the same. So, yeah. Honestly, guys, that really looks like the only difference between two, um, last year, 2021, compared to this year, 2022, is just now you get the 5G access on all the plans, which, honestly, like I explained before, I really don't feel that that's really a good idea it's just going to cause you to go through your data more and then if you are on the the 10 gigabyte or the 2 gigabyte after your data allowance is reached you are throttled to 128 kilobits per second so honestly very slow so that's just something to keep in mind there and then they also still do have the four lines of unlimited data for 100 bucks a month if you scroll down here, it shows right here the four for hundred dollars. Keep your family connected. You get four lines of the unlimited data for a hundred bucks a month, which is going to be this one here. So this is the plan. So if you get four, let's see if I can get it to show here. Yep. So it would be $25 a line. If you were to do the four lines, you would get this plan here, which honestly, if you got four people here, really the only difference is you don't get the cloud storage or the HBO Max with the ads here. Um, so basically, you still do get the unlimited, unthrottled data, but Cricket may temporarily slow data speeds if the network is busy. So like I said, that's only temporary. If the data speeds let up, then, you know, you're back to the fast speeds again. All right, and now we're going to talk about the data-only plans here. So I have actually talked about this recently on the channel. Um, it was towards the middle of last year, so kind of recent. The data plans to fit your needs. If we click on the learn more here, here is the data only plans. So for $55 a month, now this is specifically for hotspots and tablets here. So for $55 a month, you can get 100 gigabytes of simply data, or if you only want to pay 35 a month, you can get 20 gigabytes of simply data here. So that plan, those plans still do exist in 2000. And 22. All right, now we're going to briefly just go into the phones here. I just want to show you that you can go ahead and browse their phones here, or you can go ahead and bring the phone you love. You can check the compatibility here. It will have you enter your IMEI, and you can go ahead and get a SIM card, and you can put that SIM card into your phone, and you can use it on the Cricut network. So that has not changed. And then I know a very popular question that keeps getting asked is, Eddie, does Cricut support the cellular Apple Watch? And currently, they do not. I am trying to work with Cricut in their local stores here and customer service. And they keep telling me that they know that a lot of people want it to happen. In all honesty, Cricut needs to make this happen because I've made videos in the past Prepaid carriers such as Spectra Mobile, which honestly is a very popular topic that quite recently jumped up in views on my channel here, and then Visible Wireless. So Spectra Mobile and Visible Wireless are two prepaid carriers that offer full support for the Apple Watch. 
Crickets can do it if they want to. So the best thing to do, guys, is keep bugging crickets. Because the more they get annoyed with it, they're just going to go ahead and add it. And as soon as they do, I will update you guys in a future video. And then eSIM. So eSIM is basically a seamless um, subscription to your cell phone provider. So Visible, I just talked about that recently. Visible, on my review of Visible for 2022, they have the eSIM. Cricket eventually will get it because there's been some rumors going around where eventually Apple's going to go ahead and pull the SIM tray altogether. And when that happens, they're actually going to be forced. All these carriers are going to be forced to go ahead and do the eSIM. All right, guys, let's quickly just go over the deals here. And the deals are constantly always changing. But I do like this here. If you're an iPhone person, which I am, I live in the Apple ecosystem, absolutely love it. You can get the Apple iPhone SE from $0 down when you activate a new line of service, which honestly, this is not a bad phone. You can get the iPhone XR, which... It's looking a little bit dated, but honestly, still a good contender. $49.99. You can get that. There's also deals for Android users and then 5G deals, which are going to be showing their 5G phones. All right. And then I do want to go back to the coverage because ultimately, guys, at the end of the day, the best cell phone carrier is going to depend upon your coverage. One thing I really do like about Cricket, and I'm going to go ahead and put in my zip code again here just to show you guys what I mean here. So I really do like the coverage and the fact that they do offer this third-party coverage. Third-party coverage is essentially roaming coverage. The majority of prepaid providers do not offer any roaming coverage. I made a vis uh, I made a I made a video on Visible recently showcasing that Visible uses Verizon for their uh, for their towers, but they do not roam. So Cricket actually does roam. They didn't always do this. When I first talked about Cricket many years ago, one of the first videos on the channel, they did not roam, and they actually do roam now. So just keep in mind, you're not going to get the priority on the roaming network, but if you do travel to an area where there is no AT&T coverage, you will more than likely get some signal. So you will still be able to use your phone. Honestly, this is really where I believe Cricket shines. And I talk a lot about the prepaid carriers because of the fact that really, if you try carrier and you do not like them, you have the ability to go to another carrier, you know, as long as you bring your phone to them and it's paid off, you can go ahead and just are like, oh, I want to go to a different carrier. There also is no activation fees with Cricket if you do it online. Most prepaid carriers, if you do it online, there is no activation fee, which is awesome. If you go into the store, they do have fees and that does vary and then there's also a service fee for the person there you know operating the store they have to get paid as well so just really keep that in mind there so guys i am very curious what do you think about cricket as a provider do you currently have cricket are you happy with it do you not have cricket were you kind of on the fence and debating you know maybe i should go ahead and try cricket let me know guys drop me a comment down in the comment section i do reply to a whole bunch of them i'm just very curious maybe you've come across me for the very first time and you're like wow i actually really like eddie then i encourage you for yourself to check out the rest of my channel and if you like what you see guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel tick the little notification bell to be notified of all my future videos Guys, I do want to let you know that I'm going to be spending a lot more time on YouTube here. I'm really cracking the algorithm. I'm getting my videos out there in the community, which honestly is helping me earn a living, which honestly 
it's the time of the year, you know, taxes are due and everything else is due. I really appreciate the support, guys. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Definitely helps out the channel. Like I said, check out the rest of my channel. If you have any additional questions for me, let me know in the comment section. If there's a video that you're like, you know, I'd like to hear Eddie's uh, take on this. Let me know that down in the comment section as well. Like I said, stay tuned to the channel, guys. I have so much more planned in the mobile tech arena. Some very exciting things happening, and you do not want to miss them. And until next time.